What is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the Master Grade Stormbringer. This is some pretty funky box art for this and it's a pretty awesome mobile suit. As you can tell by the monochrome nature of the box art, this is a P-Bandai kit. This is basically a variant of the Master Grade Gym Dominance, which was also a P-Bandai kit. So it's a little bit strange, but this is definitely a more Gundamized look for it. I'm not sure if this is actually technically a Gundam. It does have the RX number on it, so I guess it's a Gundam, but it's based on the body of a gym. So I don't know, kit aside, the gym is also based on the 2.0 Gundam Master Grade, so I guess it is a Gundam anyway. So this is Jim's mobile suit. I have not, I'm not familiar with the manga this is from, or I think it's not even a manga. It's just like a kind of side story, kind of photo novel sort of thing. I don't really know per, for sure. Jim, I have to imagine, is a play on words of the GM Jim, but I again, I don't know the source materials. So anyway, this is from uh, the Build Divers line, technically, and so let's get a look at this. With it being a P-Bandai kit, there's not much to look at here on the outside of the box, just the same kind of box art. But again, I do really like how they're getting more funky with the box arts uh, for the P-Bandai stuff from Gonna Build Divers like this, and the Polypod Ball and the Kubele Damned. Uh, is all pretty cool, I think. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I think it's a refreshing kind of change of pace. This list price for this kit is 5,000 yen. So it's a little bit more expensive, but as you can see, it's a pretty big box. That said, I know there's a lot of leftover plastic. Let's just take a look at some of the stuff we got in here. It's mostly in standard Gundam colors, so that's not really too exciting, but the design is really cool. Again, very similar to the Gym Dominance, but it does have a lot of new parts. To it as well. Also, it does have some water slides in it, so that's always a plus of P Bandai Master Grades. They do cost a little bit more, but they do come with some premium stuff most of the time by coming with some water slides. A lot of these water slides are like the main markings are the same ones that came with the recent edition of Gundam Hobby Life magazine, which I did a separate video on. I'm not sure if these are exactly the same. I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty much the same as the main markings for that. This also has the markings for, I believe these EFF markings are also for the polypod ball, if I remember correctly, but I'm sure that's probably in the manual. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, as always, guys, I have got to say a huge thank you to SA Gundam Store for sponsoring the review. Uh, do check out their P Bandai stuff they have available and everything else there on their store. The link to that is down below, of course, and the coupon code to save 10% on their site as well. So check that out. Here is the manual, finally, at the bottom of all of those runners. And we've got the box art there and now in color. And you can see there's the Stormbringer there with the polypod ball. Down here at the bottom, a cool, what I'm guessing is a CG render there, not an actual model, is what it looks like. But well, then next to that, we've got some information there in Japanese and English if you want to check that out. Going around here onto the back is just going over the marking location where all the markings are going to go on this. Uh, I believe this does probably have some stickers as well. I could be wrong though. I only saw the water slides on there at the moment, but there's where the water slide markings go on it. Really cool design. And then the color guide there at the bottom. Again, it's pretty much standard Gundam colors, so nothing really too surprising there, I think. So well, let's check out the parts list because as I said, a lot of leftover parts in this kit. Looks like we probably don't get to the new stuff until we get down here to runner M1, M2, N1, N2, O, and that is probably it. So it looks like those are probably our one, two, three, four, five new, completely new runners for this kit in this case. And then it's just on with the construction because this is a P Bandai kit and our center fold page, there's no extra information, kind of nice shiny pictures and things like that that we would normally see in a Master Grade manual. Uh, P Bandai kits do not have that. But there's just the weapons, again, the same weapon as the Gym Dominance uh, for that arm, and then just has some other cool gimmicks and things, and of course, action based connector. So let's get a look at the runners. So it turns out we do have some other stickers aside from the water slides in here, and is this small little set of photo stickers here, which is basically just for the eyes and a few little camera bits. That's all it really seems to be on here, so that's pretty good. But then once again, here is that beautiful water slide decal set as well. So we got a whole bunch of caution markings at the top, mostly red and white, and then with a few gray ones in there as well. The VC01 on there. I'm not sure why they went with V-cards. I guess no one at Bandai really checked uh, to go over and see on the Urban Dictionary what V-cards means. I really feel like someone should tell Japan to check Urban Dictionary before they make these things because they may know what the word, like, card means, but V-cards, I have a feeling, eluded them on this one. SB1 here for our standard clear pink beam saber effect parts. We got Polycap Runner PC002 for just a few little polycaps here, as well as PC7 for a few more extra little ball joint polycaps. And then first of all, we'll just take a look at Runner MP here. This is the MG100 scale MS Hand A. These are the same hand parts that have been used for the Master Grade Age kits, as well as all of the recent Master Grade Gym variants to come out over the past couple of years now, the Gym Sniper 2 and all the different versions leading up to this Gundam as well. 
So speaking of the gym, Sniper 2, that is where this first runner is going to come from. So runner A here in a very nice shade of blue and yellow, I will say. Slightly orangish yellow and slightly pale blue. It looks very good. This is from the Master Grade Gym Sniper 2, as a lot of these runners are going to be. Runner A2, however, still in that same blue, but this one is from the Gym Dominance. So it's going to be a mix of Gym Sniper 2, Gym Dominance, and then Gundam 2.0 inner frame. And then we do also have runner A2, which is a copy of this portion of the A2 runner. Then we've got runner B, once again from the Gym Sniper 2 here in blue, but then we also have it in red, because again we're going to be using some parts of these in red and some parts in blue. Runner B1 in this nice, kind of very slightly off-white color is back to the Gym Dominance, and then we also have runner B2 for a copy of this section of the runner here. Runner C here, back to the Gym Sniper 2, if you're noticing a pattern, it's kind of bouncing back and forth between the two kits. And that does continue on to runner C2 as well, as this is from the Gym Dominance, as well as C2 Part 2. Runner D now is in this kind of light gray color. This one is also from the Gym Dominance. But Runner D2 bringing it back to the Gym Sniper 2 for a few parts here. Once again, back in that off-white color. We've got two of these. And then one more D2, again, from the Gym Dominance this time. This little yellow part there for the camera on the double beam rifle. Runner E1, and we're back to the Gym Sniper 2 as we start to get into the inner frame here in this just shade of normal kind of standard gray here. We also have Runner E2 for a copy of this half of the runner over here. Runner F is some more frame parts from the Gym Sniper 2. Again, fantastic frame, so no worries at all about seeing this frame reused for this kit. Runner H, however, now we're finally getting into some of the Gundam version 2.0 inner frame parts. Now, these are also, interestingly, not molded in ABS. These are all in polystyrene, so no ABS with this kit at all. As we're going through these, Runner I as well, also from the Gundam version 2.0. Again, just gray inner frame parts there. And then one more from the Gundam version 2.0 here is Runner J for just the rest of our inner frame parts. And finally, Runner M1, we're now getting into the parts that are new specifically for the Gundam Stormbringer. So there you can see the parts for the head as well as these kind of fuel tank thruster things there on its back. We do also have Runner M2, which is a copy of that section there. Runner N1 is some new parts in blue there for the torso, the skirt sections, and things like that. And we do also have Runner N2, which is a copy of this part of the runner here. And finally, last but certainly not least, a nice big four color runner here for runner O. You got some red parts over here, some black parts in the center, one little clear part there at the bottom for the eyes and the head camera, and then some more yellow parts there up at the top. And that is it. And so, despite this being just a big mashup of basically two other kits with a handful of new parts thrown in, uh, and this being a P-Bandai kit, do still have to say it does look super cool. So I can't wait to get this built up, and then I'll have the review coming up for you guys next. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any further questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam Store. Use that coupon code, ZAKUARILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.